Nintendo Switch. Let's take a look and see what's going on. Okay, so we have a pretty well smashed up port. There are definitely pins touching in there. Let's see if we can get this at a better angle. Oh yeah, there are definitely ten, all sorts of pins touching in there. I don't know if you can see it very well. So we're very likely to have uh, some collateral problems. What we'll do is we'll disassemble, we'll pull the port, and we'll test from there. Okay, we have uh, disassembled and we are preparing to uh, remove this port. While I set up my equipment, I will throw these temperatures up for you. I do not expect to use the micro pencil unless we have some sort of trace damage out of the port, which is possible. All right, we will start by doing what we always do, and that is flooding the anchor points and visible pins with low melt. Let's get started. All right, that looks like a good pull. No pull pads. Let's check and see if we have any bridging. We do not appear to have any bridging. The reason why I'm concerned about bridging is because it would interfere with our measurements, which we're going to flip the board and do now. And see if we have any collateral damage from that mangled port. Let's get focused in there for you. So we can bring some additional light in so you guys can see a little bit better, maybe. All right, let's make sure our meter is connected. It is. And let's measure around here, find ourselves a ground point. This is the P13 USB cap. Seems okay. All right. Well, they did not kill CPU. At least it looks like it so far. That's a good sign. Okay. Okay. Let's make sure these lines are not shorted. Thanks to Jason's at Jason at Jason Electronics Repair, I tend to check all those. He made some good points in a recent video. I can't really remember which one it was, but by all means, go watch his stuff. It's good stuff.
All right, BQ24193 area seems okay. These guys may have gotten exceptionally lucky, but we ain't done yet. I'm not lingering on these because it's really hard to get a good uh, contact point on them. If I get a beep, I'm moving on. Okay. Now we don't want them to be... We want them to be continuous this way and this way, but not this way. If they are continuous this way, that means it's shorted or bridged. Not a good thing. Let's find ourselves a ground point. Okay, I should be getting something from one side of this. Which means I'm not making good contact to ground. Let's try to solder. There we go. Alright. It looks like they may have gotten exceptionally lucky. If you saw that port, I mean, let's take a look at this thing. That's not good, guys. If you stick a live charger into that, you are probably going to kill your CPU. It's very likely. So, but they got lucky, it looks like. We will clean up, put a new port on, and perform a little bit, a little bit of a test. Okay, I think we're clean enough to do a test here. I will do further cleaning with the air compressor once I have confirmed there. We are done with the rework here. Let's perform a quick test. Three, 
you need the power supply to be on. Right voltage, right amps. Okay. All right, that seems pretty normal. And that seems pretty normal. Very good. So I will clean up off camera. We will reassemble and perform some more tests or reassemble enough to test and perform some, perform some more tests. Okay, we are prepared to perform a test with a known good battery. And the DC power supply. I will try to hold this up so you can see it. Without threatening to do any damage, more damage to it than it has been done. Okay, full symbol. Okay, we're pulling 0.94 oh, up to one amp. So fast charging. I'm going to flip it around. And again, pulling uh, about an amp. Okay, so we're charging on both sides. Looks like it was a good placement. We'll reassemble entirely and go from there. Okay, well, we sat, let it sit and charge for a while. And as you can see, it's charging the main uh, console and it's charging the uh, Joy-Cons. So that's really all I had to show you on this video. Okay, in summary, everything seems to work and that's great uh i'll let it charge a little bit longer and uh, return it to the shop um, if you have any questions about the equipment i use in this video uh, they're all in the description below uh, if you like the video hit the like button and if you want to see more videos like this hit subscribe and maybe hit that notification bell um, that's really all i had to ask of you thank you for watching see you next time